Each week at this time we do something called a community moment where we invite someone from our Oasis community to come up and share kind of the thought for the day. And uh, it's really a chance to share maybe a life experience you've had or maybe an idea from a book you've read that you're excited about. And um, we've had all kinds of great community moments. Always looking for some more. We would like to hear from the diversity of voices here at the table, so please uh, get with me if you'd like to do some. I can do a community moment, I'll get you on the calendar. Uh, I'd like to bring up today, I think, first time community moment presenter, another one of the um, Oasis contingent from Quebec, Canada, Manon Lavoie. Welcome. Okay, good morning, everybody. So, today I am going to talk to you about how I came to come here. And to do this, I'm going to start with where I come from. I am French Canadian as he said to you. Um, and I grew up in a Catholic um, um, environment. I went to Catholic boarding school. From fourth grade on to um, second grade of high school, doesn't work a little bit like here, but four, uh, three grades of elementary, uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth, where I was in, with nuns. And it was very interesting because of all these conversations we had with the nuns, there's something that I remember particularly well. I remember when we talked about Jehovah's Witness, and the fact that they were going doors to doors and knocking on the doors and, and preaching to people and telling them all about their religion. And I asked the nun, I said, Sister, why aren't you doing this? And she said, why should I? I'm like, well, don't you want to, you know, preach about Jesus? She said, no, no, you don't get it. I'm like, no, I don't get it. She said, it is not my talking about Jesus that's going to bring people to Jesus is my leaving Jesus, living his word, not talking about him. I'm like, hmm, awesome. I need to talk about Jesus. Cool. <laughs> so that's one of the things that I remember. Then the other thing that she said, um, I, I asked her, well, then what if people don't believe in Jesus? What are going to happen to them? And she said, nothing's going to happen to them. What do you mean? They're not going to go to heaven? Oh, she said, no, no, you've got to understand this. It's not what they believe. It's how they believe. People are more important than beliefs, right? Catholic nun tells me this. It's not how, it's not what they believe, it's how they live. And she says to me, they can believe hard and have a crappy way of living and interacting with people, they're not going to end up in heaven. Ooh, okay. So I was like, oh, that's fun. And then another thing that we had in this conversation was the fact that you need to accept people how they are. And she says to us, because we were a group of kids, right? And we were in fourth, fifth grade. I don't remember. And I don't remember which story it was, but I think it was Sister Matthew Jose. And she said to us, your job as a Catholic, it's not to judge people. It's not to decide whether or not they're living right. It's to love everybody. Leave the judging to God. You know, this is how I was approached to religion. This is what I believe. Don't judge people. Love them all. If there's a power out there, the power is going to do the judging. It's not our job. Right? The other thing I believe, people are more important than belief. It's not what they believe in that's important. It's how they live. And the other thing that I wanted to bring, oh, and I've got to talk to you about my dad. My dad always says one thing to me. Do everything you can to take care of your problems, and then heaven will help you. He never says, let heaven help you, and go pray, 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 pray. No, that's not the message my dad always told me was do everything you can and let faith and heaven or whatever you believe in take care of the rest. But don't expect them to do it for me. So here I am in Houston, moved two years ago, almost, and my friend invites me to her church and I'm like, yeah, I'll go. I mean, okay, I want to see. So I go to this uh, service um, in uh, a Baptist church. And they're reading book, book of Ruth. And actually, he did a good job with Book of Ruth. It was interesting. The guy was super interesting. And 
put a twist on it that can be modernized, but not like this big hardcore type of don't do this, blah, 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 or, you know, it was, it was fun, it was fun. I mean, I've got to sound, I've got to give it to him. He really made the Book of Root really interesting. And I wanted to come the next week to actually see what's going on. I mean, seriously, it was really fun. But on the third time he did it, and it was a series of four, he did a preaching moment, and he said, when you choose your spouse, look how they pray, how they're like, so into it and everything, and I'm like, what? <laughs> how about how they live? He never talked about how they live. I'm like, wait a second. Praying is not more important than living. You can pray until you're blue in the face and not treat, and treat everybody like crap. I don't think you're gonna win your heaven if that's what you believe in, right? It's not important how you pray. And then here I am, and I'm like, no, shut up. Shut don't, 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 just walk away. <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> so, I walk away, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go sit in the teen um, um, service, because they have a teen service. Oh. So I'm sitting there in the back, and um, they interview this university student, college student, and the preacher says, and then here she says, Date. I mean, I'm telling you, as she was talking like this. When you date, don't be physical. I'm like, okay, I can go for that. And then she said, and the priest asked her, what do you mean? She says, don't hold hands, don't kiss. I'm like, I'm not going to tell you what I said. I'm in church. You can imagine what I said, that you're not supposed to say in church. I'm like, so really? Is that really what I want to teach my kids to not make this judgment? And then she goes on, and says, don't date somebody who's not religious. Like, okay, here we go again. About this entire message of, you know, more what you look like you believe in than what you actually, how you actually live. There's a lot of people out here, I mean, in here with us who live really, really good lives, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna get to heaven if there's one way before those people, like, I'm not gonna name which, um, which um, politician right now, they're like, <gasps> and then they go, don't accept Syrians into this country. Blacks are bad, gays are bad. And they're like, wait a second. Where is the message? Where the message has gone? This is not the message I remember from my little, you know, Catholic school moment. My religion is, your job is not to judge anybody. Your judge is to love everybody. Leave the judging to the higher power, should they exist. And uh, by the way, I say, should they exist? I'm a questioning, right? I'm not a atheist. I'm not a Catholic. I'm not a whatever. I'm questioning. I don't know what's out there. And I'm always questioning. Is there a heaven? I believe in reincarnation. What does that make me? You should have seen that. The, 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 um, the nun thought it was really funny as a Catholic kid that I actually believe in the reincarnation. That's another story. But you know, <laughs> all that to say, you know, our values there. This is what I was raised on as a Catholic. This is what I was looking for in a church. This is what I was not finding. This is what I found here. So we're lucky because I think we saw the light. <laughs> While everybody else, everywhere else is busy thinking that they are so right. They pray, they pray. Oh my God. You, look, you look at these photo ops of these politicians and they're like, oh. <laughs> you remember this? Right? But the message is hate. Our message is not hate. That's what brought me to us. Our message is not hate. 